In this video, we will do the normal property distribution on the example. These example are the application example. Before that, when you want to find the probability using the standard normal, there are a few steps or guidelines that you can use. Alright, step one is that write down your question statement or we call it the probability notation. And then step two, you change from your X normal distribution to Z, your standard normal distribution using the Z score. Where Z score is Z equivalent to X minus mu over by sigma. And then step three, you state the Z value clearly and you need to round it off to two decimal places. And then the last step would be find the area and solve the for probability or the percentage of the question asked. Let's look at the first question. A machine can produce spherical buttons whose diameters are normally distributed with a mean 10 mm and a standard deviation of 0.11. These two are your parameters. However, only button of sizes between 9.8 mm to 10.5 mm are suitable for the market. Let's look at question part A. If one button is chosen at random, find the probability that its diameter is less than 9.8 mm. So first and foremost, what you have to do is write down your random variable x. Given already in the question, your random variable x is spherical button whose diameters are normally distributed. So you can say that x is diameter of a spherical button where x is normally distributed with a mean 10 mm and standard deviation of 0.1 mm. And then the question asks you, find the probability that is diameter less than 9.8. So first, write down your probability notation where Px less than 9.8. Second is that you need to standardize your x to z. We're using the z score. Where x minus mu over by sigma with x 9.8, mu is 10, sigma is 0 0.1. One. Then calculate to find your z value, you will get negative 2.0. And then find your shaded region or the area under the curve. Alright, because it is less than negative 2, so it will be on the left tail. From the table, when z equivalent to 2, the probability is 0.4772. But because your table is read from the middle part, where this is 0 0.4772, so what you need to do is that half of the curve is going to be 0 0.5. To find the tail, you need to minus out the middle region, which is 0 0.4772. Then calculate, you're going to get your answer, 0 0.0228. Thus, you can see the probability of a button with diameter less than 9.8 mm is 0.0228. For part B, the question asks you to find the percentage of the buttons with diameter between 9.8 mm and 10.5. This random variable is the same as before where x is the diameter of spherical button and x having a normal with 10 millimeter with your mu and 0 0.1 your standard deviation sigma now question asks you to find the percentage with the button diameters between 9.8 and 10.5 millimeter so first thing first write down your property notation or the question statement where x is between 9.8 until 10.5 and then the second thing change into the z score or standard dice where x 9.8 minus by mu 10 over by sigma 0 0.1 same goes with 10.5 minus by 10 over by 0 0.1 calculate you're gonna get your z value negative 2 until 5 sketch the area under the curve where you will get in between this part and find your probability from the table
the z value for 2 would be 0 0.4772 because z value 5 is much greater than uh, 3 so you use 0 0.499 for any z value above 3.09 so from the table you can have 0 0.4772 for the region between 0 to negative 2 region between 0 to 5 would be 0 0.499 so add up the two region, you're going to get 0 0.9771. The question asks you to find the percentage. Thus, there are 97.71% of button with diameters between 9.8mm and 105 millimeter. Okay.